in this short video I'd like to show you how to use the external NX tools in a very smart and comfortable way. In the NX bin folder there are a lot of useful tools which can be performed outside of NX. For example the executable file called massprop. So you can use the massprop utility to generate a report containing mass property information associated with all the sheet and solid bodies in an NX part. To execute this utility I use a batch file. Basically a batch file is a special text file that typically has a .bat extension. And with such a batch file, we can perform various actions. To create such a batch file, you can use the notepad. So we look inside of this file with the notepad. And we see there are three lines inside. The important line is the second one. Here we see the path of the file and the name of the utility with the file extension. And in the same line we have a percent one, so this is a variable and this variable holds the path of the file as a value that you dropped on the batch file. How it works? In my case I have a PRT file, it is a screw and I'd like to have the mass property information of this part. So I drag this part file onto the batch file. So I drag it and I drop it on the batch file. And now you can see that the utility is performed. The result is a report. It is the report about the mass properties and it is a text file. So I can open it and we see all the information about the mass properties. This is one example to use this drag and drop behavior. Another example is this. So I have a part in inch. We take a look in an X. We look to the properties of this part and we see that this one is an inch. And I'd like to convert it in a metric one. This is the same procedure. So therefore I have another batch file so we can look inside of this file and we see that we have here in the second line the same file path but we have the utility called UG convert part and it should be the result in metric. So again I drag the PRT file and I drop it onto the convert part batch. And again you see the utility is performed. As a result, we have one file which is successfully converted. We look in an X again, so that means I reopen the part and we look to the properties again. And now it should be in metric. You see, to use a batch file, it is a very smart and comfortable way to execute such files. Additional, you can add these batch files to the Windows context menu. That means right mouse button on the PRT file and you see the list of all the batch files. Therefore, you have to modify the registry. And as a result, you can use these batch files directly out of this menu. For example, again, the mass prop batch. I click it out of this menu and you see it is performed again. 